ready for Seahawk Fever, the show that celebrates the Seahawks on their march to the Super Bowl. And now, here to help you catch the fever are Andy Weller and Jenny Davies. Oh, uh, we're back with another Seahawk Fever, the show we rushed on the air and sold a lot of advertising for six weeks ago when the Seahawks were three and one. I mean, they, they look so great. Any, anyway, anyway, uh, we're pretty much committed to this time slot, so the nine of you out there are still watching. Uh, we're going to be right here until the, uh, until the end of the season. That's right, but enough negative talk, Andy, because it's time for our positive Hawk Talk of the Week. <laughs> Brought to you by Morgan Insurance, who say, you can bet your life insurance the Seahawks are going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> the uh, positive Hawk Talk of the Week, uh, they almost won last Sunday. <laughs> That's right, they very nearly beat the Denver Broncos, but they didn't. <laughs> So let's go right to the uh, highlights of that near victory. And as usual, Seahawk highlights are brought to you by James Jewelers, who say, let's make some Super Bowl rings, Seahawks. Uh, Super Bowl rings, you bet. Okay, uh, <laughs> on to those highlights. Let's see, there's, uh, well, there's an injured Bronco. Uh, that was good for the Seahawks. Here's a good shot of Eugene Robinson on the phone. And there they are, leaving the field. <laughs> okay, and now let's turn to Herb Lyons for his playoff percentages feature, where every week he keeps us updated on the chances of the Seahawks going into the playoffs. And again, playoff percentages is brought to you by Wheeler Medical Center, who say we can cure anything except Seahawk fever. <laughs> Herb? Well, speaking of highlights, I thought it might be interesting to look at highlights of my report for the previous five weeks, so let's take a look at that, shall we? But even with the loss, they are in great shape. Three wins and two losses, and that's not bad. But, you know, considering it's the AFC, three and three at this early stage puts them right in the playoff hunt. And so at uh, three and four, that wild card spot is still wide open. Even though they are three and five, that still means they could end up 11 and five. <laughs> People keep asking me, at three and six, they're out of it, aren't they, Herb? And I say, oh, no, 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 they're sitting pretty. <laughs> and now for tonight's report, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> All right, they ain't going anywhere. You got it? Quit calling me and asking me what it would take. Because it'd take nuclear sabotage or an unfortunate accident involving another team's airplane. It's over, comprende? Thanks, sir. And we'll see you again next week. And you know, Herb raises a good point, Andy, because a lot of teams fly through bad storms at this time of year. So if one of those planes went, that could be a factor. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh... Okay, Jenny, you just keep thinking those good thoughts, okay? I will. Uh, I will. In the meantime, it's time to look at the psoriasis scoreboard, where each week since the show started, we're, uh, we're donating money for psoriasis research for every touchdown the Seahawks have scored. <laughs> Our grand total is 20 bucks. And hey, that's okay. It's not really the worst disease to have anyway. <laughs> and now, let's go to the phones, where we have some fans with the fever. Hello, you're on Seahawk Fever. Yeah. The Seahawks suck. Thank you. Next caller. Suck. Great. Next caller. Suck. Thanks. Next. Yes, this is United States Representative Steve Largent from Oklahoma. Oh, well, hello, Steve. What's on your mind? The Seahawks suck. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> well, that's it for this week, but be sure to join us next week for Seahawk Fever. That's right. It'll be a whole new show with a couple of new sponsors, the Darwin Depression Clinic and uh, Albright Funeral Home. We'll see you then. Bye.